What is up, Flavor Family? It is Bobby and Art back at the grocery store because you guys have been requesting a review of lunch meats lately. And hey, it's perfect time, right? It's back to school, and I want to send the big kids and the small kids to work in school with the best quality lunch meat they can possibly get. And spoiler alert, a lot of these uh, deli meats on the wall behind me are super bad, low quality proteins pumped with sugar, salt, and preservatives. But there are a handful of really good stuff, and it's not hard, right? You want to buy good quality meat, preferably organic you want to be able to recognize all the ingredients on the back of the uh, label and you want stuff that is real and whole you want to make a sandwich that is going to be high quality satiate your hunger and hold you over to dinner right no filler all thriller so I'm gonna break it down and tell you what to buy what to avoid and most importantly why before we do that you're gonna to want to go ahead and click that red subscribe button and better yet there's a bell icon right below the video push that and enable all notifications because every single week we're doing three videos. Heck, last week we did four videos. We have two videos on the weekend and a live cooking stream during the week. Those are super fun, you guys. We're making a recipe from start to finish, hanging out the community, answering questions. They are a great time and you don't want to miss it. Let's not save the best for last, you guys. Let's do one of my favorites immediately and it's Applegate Farms. Why do I love this? There's a number of reasons. Number one, on the front of every package, it says humanely raised. That really matters because when you get to poultry, especially chicken, like chicken breast, uh, they can be cooped up into warehouses that have 30,000 chickens in there with horrible living conditions. Also, I would highly recommend getting the organic version because the organic uh, protein really makes a difference. First and foremost, uh, it has a non-GMO feed. Look at the ingredients on all of these different varieties here, the chicken, the turkey, the ham. It's just a handful of ingredients, right? I call it all thriller, no filler. That being said, look at the front of the package of the ham. See where it says no added nitrates? Instead of doing that, they add celery powder. And celery powder has natural nitrates in there that will convert as soon as it goes into the package. And it's pretty much just as bad as the man-made nitrates, but they need that. Otherwise, a bacteria can grow on here. I would splurge for the organic. It's just a little more. Either way, you cannot go wrong getting any one of these from Applegate. They are one of the best in class. All right, let's talk about some of these cheaper lunch meats that I want you guys to stay away from here and exactly what some of these ingredients mean because there's a ton of stuff in here, starting with like Lando Frost. And I think there's one called Budig. If you see something in a plastic uh, package like this, it's kind of loose, it's usually a bad sign. And then once we look at the ingredients here, when they start getting this long, it's a really bad sign. So in this kind of packaging, you're gonna see a couple of things here like uh, sodium nitrate. That's the nitrates that add here that people give it a bad rap in the news, but you need that, otherwise bacteria can grow on here. And whether they do it with the celery juice extract or the actual nitrates, it's pretty much the same. Uh, the sodium erythrobate, that is a food preservative that helps, uh, once again, preserve this, but it makes the uh, ham more pink quicker. And we want everything to be pink and look really pretty because it looks more attractive here. Um, then we go to something called sodium phosphates. Those are things you want to avoid. When we look at the better uh, brands here, they don't have that. That's because sodium phosphates are a preservative uh, and too many phosphates in your body are bad. It's really bad if you have kidney issues, colitis, and too many phosphates can cause a uh, heart disease. So that's a preservative that I would highly, highly recommend avoiding. And then in this one too, they have maltodextrin. Maltodextrin is once again that food preservative. I think we're seeing a theme here, preservative city here, right? But it's a really bad for your gut bacteria and your stomach. Here we have yeast extract, which is another word for uh, MSG, natural flavoring. So this is a major no. Uh, bologna, um, in case you don't know, is mystery meat, right? It basically says right here, it's uh, beef, water, corn, and a bunch of hydrolyzed crud here. This is uh, basically made up of lips and buttholes. That's what I call it. And then this is the market pantry or the target variety. Uh, be very careful with the third party kinds because number one, it says right here, caramel color and smoke added. They add the caramel coloring on the edges of the ham and the turkey to make it look like it's oven roasted. It's not, it's just caramel coloring, which is really bad because it's a known carcinogen and it's really bad for you. It's the same stuff they put in like chicken stock to make it brown or Coca-Cola, avoid that. But this once again has all those bad, um, uh, all right, coast is clear. I was just gonna say this has all the preservatives that the other cheap ones have. So it's not worth it to save money because these are really bad for you. Pay a little more and get the other ones. You might think all of the Oscar Meyers you should stay away from, but it's pretty interesting. So let's start with the Oscar Meyer Deli Fresh, right? 
They like to put words like Deli Fresh and clean packaging to make it seem like they just sliced it off of the carving board. But the Deli Fresh version does have a few less ingredients here, but it has carrageenan in here, right? So carrageenan is that emulsifier from seaweed. The problem is it's really bad for your gut and your gut bacteria and can wreak havoc in your intestines. I actually had someone email me this week and said they had GI issues for seven years. Doctors didn't know what it was. She finally eliminated carrageenan after watching the videos and she feels a lot better, especially with ham. Read how much of this is the brine. So on here it says up to 24% of this can be seasoning solution. Seasoning solution is like a brine. Think about Thanksgiving, right? You brine your turkey for two reasons. It adds flavor, it adds moisture. They do the same thing to this, but when you get the cheaper varieties, 24% of this is actually brine. So you're paying for the filler. So even though it's cheaper in price, it's more expensive because you're getting less meat and more water and salt and brown sugar. This is bad news, but this is actually good news. Oscar Mayer Naturals. This is the only one you want to get. It's pretty much the same as uh, Applegate, except it's not organic. But look at the ingredients. This is how you know it's really good here. It's just a few things. And what are they using instead of caramel coloring to get the color on the outside here? Cherry powder. How cool is that? So do I wish it was organic because it would have the non-GMO feed? Yes, but this is a little cheaper and very accessible. So Oscar Mayer Natural is the only one you want to get. Hillshire Farm is one brand you just want to stay away from no matter what variety it is because we start with the basic one here. The ham from Hillshire Farm has a lot of those ingredients we don't like. It has the sodium phosphate, it has the natural flavorings, we don't want that. If we go to the basic Hillshire turkey breast here, they're using preservatives once again and they're using the carrageenan in here. The reason why these guys are using carrageenan is because this is a processed meat product and they want it to number one have a shelf life and number two be rich and soft and creamy and that's what carrageenan does. It's an emulsifier. Now Hillshire actually has a naturals version here right? Very similar to the Oscar Mayer one but you don't want to buy this naturals because number one well, number one, this is interesting. The natural version of the ham says up to 15% of a solution, and the cheaper one says up to 24%. So at least with the premium one, you're getting more meat, but the premium one still here has carrageenan in the ham and carrageenan in the uh, turkeys, but Oscar Mayer is not relying on that. So because of that, I would pass on this and go for the Oscar Mayer natural all day. Can I interest you in a different one of the Oscar Myers? The, na the natural one is so much better. Oh, where is yeah, right oh, now. Down yeah, down. the ingredients are way, way better. Awesome. Yeah, it's like barely more expensive. Before I talk about the salami, I also want to let you know that you can get really high quality organic uh, deli meat from Aldi at a fantastic price. Even the never any brand that isn't organic is good quality. And Trader Joe's has organic turkey and ham at a very good price. Uh, pepperoni. Once again, the only pepperoni I would get would be Applegate because number one, it's humanely raised. Pork, if it's not humanely raised or pasture raised, is raised in feedlots under really bad conditions. But compare the ingredients here, you guys. The regular one here from, uh, this is the Target brand here, has milk powder, non-fat dry milk powder. So if you're allergic or intolerant to dairy, you might not know it, but this will uh, upset your stomach. And this has the sodium nitrates and uh, the preservatives, whereas the Applegate one has none of that. It actually has Swiss chard powder and uh, garlic powder, so much cleaner, especially compared to any of these. The uh, Hillshire Farm one is pretty much garbage. And if you want to get the turkey pepperoni too from Applegate, I'm telling you, Applegate is crushing the game. It's super clean, no bad ingredients. I would only go Applegate for the uh, pepperoni. This is actually real. There's all natural ingredients. It's not like fake meat. Yeah, well, they're they neither. Like stuff in that's it. the problem. See, carrageenan is really bad for you. Sodium phosphates are a really nasty right. preservative and this one doesn't have any of that. We have to talk about salt because anytime you're talking about processed deli meat, salt is gonna be very prevalent. But we can't control the amount of salt we uh, use. So for example, this is oven roasted turkey breast from Target. It has a whopping 540 milligrams per serving. You guys, uh, the government recommends we eat about 2,300 milligrams. So this is roughly a quarter of your daily salt intake from a few slices of turkey. But you can do better. When you start going to Applegate, the amount of salt goes down and the type of salt is uh, better. We look at the back of the ingredients here. It says sea salt. What are the other ones, the cheaper ones uh, using here? regular table salt. We did a whole video about salt, right? And not all salt is created equal. Sea salt is actually good for you because it's unrefined most of the time. This is table salt or iodized salt, which is chemically bleached. So I would once again 
go for the Applegate. Even the one I recommended here, the uh, all natural Oscar Mayer one, it does have a bit more salt, but I'm okay with that because the quality is that much better. But something to keep an eye on is salt, which is very high, unfortunately, in all of these uh, processed meat products. Can I recommend a different one brand? Because that one has some bad ingredients in there. Uh, turkey has carrageenan. Oh, this, yeah. The turkey does? Yeah. Why would it have carrageenan? Because it's a sure. preservative yeah. and it makes it like creamy because it's like a processed meat product. Wow, that actually had a vegan uh, selection here for deli slices and I wanted to cover them for all my vegan fans out there. Uh, the only one they had here is tofurkey and that is not my preferred uh, choice here because number one, it's made of soy. I'm just not a big fan of soy. And it's a little more processed than I like to see with a few ingredients I don't like here. But there is another option called field roast. Don't we love having a roasted field around the uh, holidays? Um, they have it at Whole Foods, uh, lentil sage flavor, wild mushroom, and it's a much cleaner option. There's another option called Eve's, Eve's Vegan Deli Slices. It's made by a Hain Celestial, which I think is one of the lower quality health food companies because they use some really shady ingredients, and it has carrageenan and natural flavoring. So now when it comes to the snack packs or the Lunchables, just stay away from that. They, they had this when I was a kid. It's equally as bad now. It's got tons of uh, fake ingredients and processed meat in there. There really is no good pre-packaged one. I mean, Applegate makes a charcuterie plate, but just make your own with cheese and uh, deli meat from over there. And then I caught this out of the corner of my eye. It's uh, a brand called O oh Snap, and it's just pickles. And they want to make you think that it's like a, a premium version here. But I don't like these because, turn it around, it's a pickled cucumber, it's a pickled carrot. It should have a couple of ingredients. It's loaded with preservatives, sodium benzenate, natural flavorings, polysorbate 80. These are harsh, harsh preservatives, you guys. If you wanna give your, your kid the best possible pickle ever, and yes, there is one, it's from Bubby's. Bubby's makes a naturally fermented pickle, meaning there's no vinegar in the brine. Why is that important? Because vinegar is highly acidic. When it's a natural fermentation, it's very rich in probiotic gut bacteria and it's very good for your stomach. This is the kind of stuff you want to avoid. I would only get the Bubby's pickles. They're delicious. And by the way, now that you guys are learning the best quality meats to make your deli sandwiches with, you also have to know what kind of cheese and what kind of bread to use. Luckily, Art and I have those videos done already. At the end of this video, check out our cheese review and our bread review. Spoiler alert, you want to use sprouted grain bread and organic cheese, and you'll make the best quality sandwich that will fill you up, give you the most nutrients, and satiate your hunger for sure. Uh, one more thing I wanted to add is that the deli meat counter is not much better than this stuff here. A lot of people think when you get boar's head, it's better quality because they advertise it. It's not. It has a lot of those preservatives, a lot of the uh, sodium, a lot of the nasty fillers that these guys have too. You have to be able to read the ingredients. That's what this video is all about. Don't trust the label. If it doesn't have high quality meat, ideally organic, and just a few ingredients, it's no good, you guys. So that is it. You have the uh, knowledge now to make the best quality sandwich to go to work and school. Um, but let us know what you want to see next, right? We just did back to school. Now we did lunch review. I heard coffee is really uh, popular. So you guys let me know. I'm going to put a poll up right here. You vote. You decide. Art and I go and we make the videos for you. Uh, two more of those videos are streaming below us right now. But Art and I will see you very soon. And we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Roll that beautiful outtake footage. And be able to pronounce it. Let me do that again. He can't even pronounce that. Pronunciate everything. Pronunciate. You want to be able to pronounce everything. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I. <gasps> pronounce nuclear. Nuclear. <laughs>